Have you ever wanted to use your Bernina stitch regulator while doing ruler work? I have because I love using the stitch regulator and I love ruler work. But on a Bernina with Bernina stitch regulation, you can't do it at the same time until now. And I can't wait to show you what has come out new from Sew Steady. They're the ones that make the acrylic tables that are custom cut to go around your sewing machine. Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, our retail store in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and from sewingmastery.com. I'm the one that does all the videos on many of the brands and models that you already own. We are a Bernina store, Husqvarna Viking, and Fop and Singer store. So you'll find a lot of our videos, tutorials, just by searching the YouTube and typing in your model number and seeing what comes up. Don't see your machine? Go ahead and email me and I'll find a machine that is closest to the model you're working with. So I am a fan of free motion quilting and I really love a burning stitch regulator when I sit down to quilt. But I've also become a ruler work expert and I love to do my own free motion quilting on the quilts that you see in our stitch Cosmos online course. Now we're going to put links to everything below in the description. So everything that will be talked about will be listed. So just scroll down, find the links, including the ones where you can buy this table if you're interested and we'll get credit for your purchase. Or go to your local Bernina store and have them order, custom order the table for you. So either way, win-win, everybody is gonna be free motion quilting with ruler work so much easier. So here's what a stitch regulator actually is. And sometimes people do call it a BSR, Bernina Stitch Regulator. I'm not a fan of acronyms. So the Bernina Stitch Regulator, or BSR, as you might hear it be called, is all the same thing. So when if you have a machine that has the stitch regulator, you will find that as you attach it, there is a plug-in in the back. So a stitch regulator is designed that as you move the fabric, it has an optical eye on the bottom to kind of sense the fabric speed. So if you decide to move your fabric a little bit faster, which I tend to do when I go around a certain direction, I go faster. So without it, I usually get longer stitches and then I get shorter stitches. Well, the stitch regulator helps even everything out. But when you do ruler work, which I have Bernina's ruler work foot number 72 on the machine right now, I don't get that option. And I will tell you with ruler work, it is easier to guide it so things go as even, you get more even stitches. But what if we combine the technology of both? And that's what Sew Steady has done. Now, how does it work? So you see that I'm holding the stitch regulator in my hand because it is going to get mounted to the underneath side of their table. There's a little cutout here right up front that is going to allow me to position the stitch regulator with that optical eye facing up. Ingenious, right? Now this isn't brand new. On Bernina's sit-down models, like the Q20, there are two Bernina stitch regulators. Those two bad boys are mounted underneath the throat plate and are designed to sense your fabric from underneath. Now if you are wanting to go and quilt faster, the sit-down model might be something you wanna take a look at. I usually find people who are doing free motion quilting enjoying the features of what we're talking about, using your ruler work foot with stitch regulation, and also free motion couching can also be done with this foot, now no longer on the machine, you can use other feet for this job. So there's two tables Sew Steady has that you can add this cutout to. Their standard and most popular 18 by 24 inch table, or this one, which is their wish table, which is 22 by 25 inches. So a little bit bigger, plus the storage area, which I love. So you can keep some of those things um, in place. And by the way, did you know that the Sew Steady table has those little holes all the way up fairly close to the needle for circular sewing, which we love to do in the Stitching Cosmos online course. Again, we've got links to 
where you can watch over 10 videos for free about that course. You see a lot of circular type items. You can actually do that if you own this table because there's a peg that goes down, holds your fabric in place, and then you can sew circles and join us without actually having to buy the circle sewing attachment. All right, that's a side note. Okay, so how does this actually go on? First, it will come in and underneath the table. Once it is locked in place with the little kind of washers and holders to keep it nicely snug, close to the top of the table so your fabric will run by it and let it be seen how fast it's moving to tell the machine what and how many stitches it should stitch in that immediate time, you also receive a cord. This cord is like the extension cord. The extension cord is what first will plug into the back of your machine where your stitch regulator normally plugs in. There is even some little holders so you don't accidentally get this cord, well, stitched into your next quilt. That would be probably bad. So there's a couple things that will attach to the back and you can keep that cord kind of up and out of the way and then also easily detach it when you're not actually using it. So this will come down around and underneath and then this will actually attach to where the plug actually is. So far so good. As soon as I attach it, you are gonna see that the screen will change to the stitch regulated screen. And that's the screen that you see only when this foot is on. So even though this foot isn't on the machine, it is being seen by the machine. So that means that we could put on the foot of our choice, such as ruler work feet and the free motion couching feet. By the way, I love a little free motion couching because it is so, so satisfying. But what about keeping all those stitches nice and even? done with this particular setup. So now you just have the little washer, the little mounts, and a little screw to hold the foot in place so it's nice and snug against the bed of the table. And once you kind of get it all set up, it's pretty easy to actually uh, just kind of leave in there and do your ruler work as you go. So to kind of see what it looks like from the front, once it's mounted, you're gonna see or cover it up actually with your quilt, that that little optical eye is going to register how fast the fabric is traveling across the bed of the table this time. Now you do have to keep in mind that as you get a little closer to the edge, you might need to adjust your direction of your fabric so something is covering this up, especially if you're trying to quilt near the edge of your fabric. If you feel like you're gonna need a little help, make sure you add a little leader or extend your back and batting to be at least a little bit extra just to allow for that particular work. So once you actually go to start, we can go ahead and take a stitch. And as we go ahead and move our ruler, you'll see that I have nice even stitches. And then remember, as you move your ruler to different directions, you don't actually have to change the direction of your quilt. So I'm a fan of being able to just move my ruler based on the direction that I'm going. If I wanna go faster, I actually need to move my fabric faster. And before I know it, I am quilting with perfect stitches with rulers. Another thing that Sew so Steady does offer are the free motion gliders. They're almost like a slick surface that uh, stick to the tables and now have the little opening for the Bernina stitch regulator kind of cut out right here. And so if you do find yourself needing a little bit of assistance for moving things around, that is a great addition. So which machines will this work on? We're talking about any of the current line of Bernina machines that have the stitch regulator option, whether it came with your machine or it's already integrated and all you have to do is actually purchase the Bernina Stitch Regulator foot from your local Bernina store, you're going to find that on most of the Bernina 4 series and of course all of the Bernina 5 series, 7 series, and 8 series. So if ruler work is something that you've been struggling with, keeping those stitches nice and even, we might have that solution for you. So thanks for watching. Check out all of our links below. Again, if you wanna purchase, look at prices, and be able to type in which model you have and have so Steady send you a table or come into our store and order yours specifically. 
have it custom cut and delivered so you can be quilting in no time. Now, some of you might be asking what my new background is on my videos, and these are some new tiles from Felt Right that adhere to my wall. I can actually unstick them. They're actually meant to be soundproofing and decorative sets, um, but they also are great for crafters or sewers where you can put them up on your wall and then pin right to them. So we're pretty excited to put them out in our event center as well, help with some of the soundproofing. And then as we have quilts, we just hang them and pin them right to the decoration of these de recycled belt squares. There's squares, there's triangles, there's different sizes. You can customize a cool drawing or even your favorite quilt block. So if that is of interest to you, you want a new design on or in your sewing studio, something you can pin to, but it looks good and decorative too, this would be a great option for you to check out. Again, those links are below. So check out our Stitching Cosmos. Maybe you're ready for an upgrade to your sewing work surfaces to help with your free motion quilting and your ruler work free motion quilting. All right, everybody, happy quilting, and I can't wait to see some of the things that you do with ruler work. If you're looking for some online courses, Sew Steady actually has Sew Steady University, and they have a ton of classes that you can enroll in. Once you enroll in those classes, they are yours to keep, so you can start now and work through them and also go back and repeat them. Again, great information information, online courses to help you master ruler work and all the great rulers that are out there. So if you have a Bernina with a stitch regulator, check out the new table system and let's get you quilting like an expert.